This video is a thorough walkthrough of the entire process of doing a proposal. When you log into the program in the admin area, you're going to see a dashboard. The dashboard shows us what's one open lost, what quality category we're selling in, as well as by salesperson and by time frame. Okay, so let's just simply go through and do a proposal very quickly. I'm going to start with a load analyzer. The load analyzer is a basic block load to help you get to the process of knowing what it is you need for a home. It proves the size of the equipment. I'm going to click Get Started. And when I have entered the customer's information, you'll notice it pulls in the number of bedrooms, the square footage of the home, as well as the age of the home. All right, I'm going to click Next Step. I'm going to enter blinds, and I had already pre-entered these numbers here, so I've got my square footage of my window glass per direction. I click Next Step. The 165 comes over from the previous page. This is my heating glass. I'm going to click Next Step. Now I'm going to enter in my doors, and I've got 42 square feet of door type wood. I'm going to enter in uh, my ceiling under an attic is 922 from the previous page. I'm going to enter in R30. It's a light roof. It's a crawl space, and you're going to notice that it's going to be R11 and I'm going to click Next Step. So now I can actually generate a PDF that shows me what the what the load is. It's a five-page document all based on ACA's Manual J. Um, it gives the summary of all of our equipment loads, heating and cooling. Alright, let's go back to the this page. Now I'm going to click Export Heating and Cooling Capacity to the Wizard. I can type in my proposal title, my brand, my application, and click get started. So now if I had a situation where I had a physical restriction of the inner unit or outer unit, I could enter that here and it would not show me that unit that was not going to work. I'm going to enter, we want one unit of labor. You'll notice here we've got our minimum cooling and heat and, uh, and the maximum cooling capacities. I'm going to click next step. So now I'm simply going to select Infinity Inverter. I'm going to select Infinity Inverter. And these are just the what I want to show the customer based on what the needs analysis for their particular home. Performance, single stage, and then comfort, single stage. Next step. Now this process is going to take a few minutes, and what it's doing now is basically it's going out to HRI and it's determining based on the quality categories the C rating, the ER, and HSP of what will actually work for this home. So once it populates, you'll see quality level one. Here's my search criteria based on what we had pre-entered. I'm going to select my outdoor unit. And then what it will do is it will auto-select the indoor units that only will work with that unit based on this criteria. So I'm going to enter the five. Now I can actually manually enter in a controller. And you'll notice now that it shows here's my C rating, EER, and HSPF and also my HR number. I'm going to select my next unit and here again is my FE4. I can type in again my controller. I'm going to select my next unit and I can choose a 31 maybe a TP PRH all right, and then I'm going to go uh, and then I'm going to click next step. <clears throat> now I can simply quickly add, you know, an 8KW heater maybe a heat pump materials kit, uh, if I needed to add uh, a line set. So maybe I need a 7 8 3 8 on this one, but I'm going to do a 3 quarter and 3 8 on this one. Um, if I like this job, I actually can set up a template for it. So let's go 3 or 2.5 ton heat pump, Gibson, and then maybe today's date, uh, 3-15-15. Fifteen. So that way I know when I'm doing my proposal, it actually will be dated 
for that specific AHRI time frame. Now I'm going to click Edit Proposal. And it's going to bring up an edit screen for this particular proposal. So I'm simply going to select my sales rep. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and I'm going to click Save. Now if I'm done, I can simply print the proposal just simply by clicking right here where the hard copy is. And it will show my equipment, premium, better, good, budget. Um, you can go back in here and make some additions to the proposal. So on the left here, just the salesperson is simply just going to, you know, simply choose the AHRI number they want to choose. There are multiple ones because it doesn't know if this was aluminum or not aluminum coil. So it's showing them all. <clears throat> and anywhere you see the parts details show, that means it's hiding something so that the salesperson can sit in front of the customer and simply uh, hide the unit prices or hide the, the, uh, the parts prices. There's a, a place called service details, and these are actions you're going to do on the job that may or may not be have a cost with them, like register the warranty, remove the old equipment. Um, maybe it's a horizontal application. We need to get more money for it. Um, perhaps we're going to uh, get a subcontract labor. Maybe we need to have $400 in there for that. Okay, But once you've selected those, you can hide those. We've got our one unit of labor. If you need to change the labor at this point, you can. You can just put you know, two instead of one. It basically adds a value of labor to the job. The salesperson doesn't necessarily see the financing details, but the, the owner manager will in, in the admin. You can see here our gross margin at this 39% is 4,800, and at 47, it's 3,100. So now you have a true and accurate, you can change this at any time. So 41 goes to 5,286. So that's uh, how you can see what your margin is. The commission is what you're paying the salesperson. The buy-down rate is your financing cost. And let's click hide. If we have some credits, rebates, or discounts that we need to associate with this unit, so we will go cool, carry cool cash, system one, cool cash, system two. Maybe you're going to give them a discount for cash. So let's say we're going to give them a discount for cash, and it's 5% uh, of the job. All right, once you've selected those, you can hide that. And then finally, we're going to show our upgrades. And let's show them a UV light, an infinite air purifier, maybe 10-year parts and labor. Okay, we're going to hide that. And we're going to click Save. So now all the changes that I made to the proposal are being uh, implemented to the next version of the proposal itself. And once we're done with this, now we can simply click here again to print. And you'll notice all of our, we've captured all of our discounts. Um, our AHRI now is selected on the proposal. You can scroll down a little bit, you'll see the included services we said we were going to do on the job. And then at the very bottom, you'll see now our upgrades are listed here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and scroll to the bottom. We're going to email the proposal to the client. As long as the status of the job is open, as long as they're thinking about it, we're going to give them an email four times. Today, three days, two weeks, and four weeks. You can even modify the initial email to just say, um, thank you for having me out to your home. And then we click send email. And the customer will get that email again. It's going to be going out today. As long as the status of the job is open, they're going to get it in three days, and then two weeks, and then four weeks. You can stop the email by closing the job out to a closed proposal from one open to one or lost. So you see here now we've got the email. Here's the email. We can click on it, and this is what the customer will see. Now, once the customer decides that they want to go ahead with the job, they can simply scroll to the bottom choose the upgrades that they want. Maybe they want this upgrade, that upgrade. They can select the system they want and the quality level is associated with whatever's up top. So if they want the premium system, they're simply going to type their name. They're going to come down here and just draw their name in, into the uh, signature by accepting it. And they're going to click I accept the terms of this agreement. And when they do that, they're going to get a notice back to the HTML screen 
that basically says that the new version is here. So click here to, to see a new copy. When we click that, you'll notice that we've changed it to the sole proposal. When we scroll to the bottom, we actually now have a place where they have signed and accepted it. And even now, when we go to look at the proposal itself, you will see that the status came in to the salesperson so they can see that they actually sold the job. The notification goes to the salesperson to let them know that we're going to, uh, to have a sold proposal. You'll also notice that a financial summary came in for the owner. The owner can now look at you know, what they sold. Um, here's the... Uh, Here's the sole job with the upgrades. Let me find it. There's several in here. But basically, what it shows is, you know, what what we sold, um, what the uh, what the services were. If there were any parts, um, this goes to the uh, the owner of the business or the manager, whoever wants to receive that. There also is a uh, a one job. So this is going to be basically the same information, but instead it'll just have you know, what we sold with, uh, you know, the uh, upgrades that we added. Um, this can be printed and sent to the field with the uh, salespeople. All right, so let's go back to the proposal itself. And uh, so here we are at the proposal. You'll see you can print this off. Let's go back to the actual area where we're going to see. Okay, so now it's going to kick me out because I'm, let's go uh So now you'll see that the we have one more one job, and we also have one you know our percentage actually went up on the proposal. Quality selected win one. So that concludes the simple process of doing a load a proposal and closing it out at the customer level.